Greetings, hi, AJ here at Keytron, and today we're going to talk about disk management. A lot of people have been asking some questions in terms of how to copy, delete, move files, and also to understand the lingua behind uh, this uh, beautiful product, Keytron Event. Unfortunately, the truth be told, yes, today's musicians and artists have to have some sense of computer background just to be able to navigate the musical instruments that they play today. But don't be afraid, don't be scared. We are here to guide you and to make your life a lot easier. So, in the previous video that we did, we showed you how you can use the event as a multimedia player. And now I wanna show you how you can take your USB stick, okay, which we did in the first video, we put it in, and we were playing all the songs and styles from here. But what happens in case you forget this at home, right? You're stranded. So in today's video, I wanna show you how you can copy your content back and forth from here into the internal drive of the event. So if you look on your event uh, X, sorry, on the event 61 or event keyboard, on the right hand side, unfortunately my camera's on this side, on the right here you have two USB slots, right? So you can plug this device into the USB slot over there. And you give it about five seconds so that the machine can recognize the drive. Now when I press media, you will notice that on my screen I'm going to have two drives, okay? So the first one, of course, that has a Keytron chip, that's the original SSD drive that came with your event, okay? That's the original drive and it tells you the percentage of space that you've used up. Right next to that is your USB uh, stick again. So if I wanna see the contents of that stick, I simply touch on that. And these are the different folders that I have on that stick. Remember in the previous video, I went into the lyrics folder for an example. And if I touch that or I press enter, it displays all these lyrics and I wanna to touch one of them that's on the screen. But what if I wanna have all of this on my event so that um, I can leave the stick at home? I don't have to you know, be worried that if I go for an event or a performance, oh my gosh, I forgot my USB stick and therefore I'm doomed. So what you wanna do is you wanna copy the stuff from the USB stick into the hard drive of the event. And that's very simple. You can either copy individual elements or you can copy everything as a folder. Now watch this because it gets a little bit tricky. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go to my uh, media, okay? And you can always see that the drive you select is the one that has the red circle around it. So in this case, whatever activity I'm doing is gonna be happening on the internal drive. If I touch that, whatever activity I'm doing is gonna be happening on that drive. So I wanna start here because I wanna copy from this drive into my internal drive, right? So in this particular case, I'm now gonna go into my disk editor. Now what this does is it transfers, so if you notice, the machine is pretty much locked at this point. You're now working with this strictly as a computer, okay? So now I want to edit what disk? What do I want to do? I want to go into this disk. Now these are the folders that I have. So I can pick an entire folder, okay? And you have to be careful. This is where you have to use your little, the tip of your top, your, of your finger, right? If you want to copy an entire folder, you want to touch the folder icon, not the name, the icon that's next to it. So in this case, for an example, if I want to copy the entire lyrics folder, I'm going to touch that icon right there. And you can see there's a gray line on the screen. Let's zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about right there. See? So there's a gray line on the screen. So that entire folder has been selected. Now you have to talk this through, okay? So what do you want to do? I want to copy, so I want to touch copy. You can cut, which means you want to remove it from here. So you want to get the content out of this, put it in here and delete it from this one. That's when you want to cut it out. Um, copy is for us to take the content out of this drive, put in that one, but still leave the original drive unaltered, right? And then of course, delete means you want to just delete this from the drive you're working with right now. So in our case, you want to copy, you want to touch copy. And it says, okay, you want to select the destination right now. I'm going to hit okay. Now, where do you want to copy to? Remember, we were working in this drive. I want to copy into my internal Keytron drive. So I'm going to touch this. Now, where in here do you want to copy into? I can decide to put this in a subfolder, in an existing folder here. Or remember, I'm copying an entire folder. I can just drop it in here as it is. So now I can touch paste. And it's going to say confirm, I'm okay. You have selected many files. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I do. And you can see the copy process pretty quick, right? Now, if you notice the media button is flashing, so 
Right now, the keyboard is technically inoperative, right? It's again in computer mode. That's why it's flashing like that. So if you try to play something, don't be scared. It doesn't work. No, the, the brain of the event is being dedicated to copying your files and working with that disk management tool. So now we have it in there, okay? I can now go back to media. And remember, my disk editor is still on. So before I can return to my normal play mode, I would want to disarm the disk editor. So then I'm going to touch disk edit. It says wait while it now relinquishes the disk management and brings you back into your normal operation. So now if I remove that USB stick, just to make a point, this is a stick right here. And I want to look for those files. Where are they? Okay. I'm going to get back here, back to my screen, go back to media. Now I only have one drive because I took out the other one. Remember? So I only have this one drive, and if I go in there and I turn this wheel, it was the folder called Lyrics. I better find it in there, right? So it's under, is it Lyrics that I copied over? Well, let's see here. It's arranged alphabetically. Right there is Lyrics, all right? If I touch that, these are my PDF files. Again, if I touch Jingle Bells or anything else, it should be able to load up and display on the screen. So now I have everything here internally, okay? So I figured I'll do this very, very short video uh, again to talk about the disk editor and how do you work with that on the uh, Keytron event, copying files back and forth. Again, I showed you the example on how to copy a whole entire folder. We could still go back and do the example of copying individual files, all right? Let me just do that. That's actually the easier part. Put that in there, wait for five seconds or so. Let's go back to our screen where we see uh, what's happening here. Go back into media. I want to go to disk editor. I want to go back to my USB thumb drive. And let's say I wanted to copy a couple of files. I want to copy some, you know, I can go into, let's say, um, into the karaoke. Or not even that one. I want to go into my lyrics, okay? I want to copy just one or two things. I can select one, two, and three. Again, you see if I zoom in, there's a gray line in my selection. So that tells me that those three files have been selected, right? Okay? Then I want to now say copy. So I want to touch copy on the bottom of that screen, which would be right here. Copy that. Are you sure? Yes. Where do you want to copy them to? In my drive over here. If I don't have a folder, I can actually make a folder here called lyrics, right? So I can actually go in there and make a new folder. Okay. I want to rename that. There we go. I'm going to call this one lyrics. And I'm just going to put two S's so I don't confuse it with the first one that I did, okay? Or let's just call it Lyrics 2. Let's see, can't spell Lyrics, right? <laughs> lyrics 2, all right? Hit Enter. Confirm that. So I have a folder called Lyrics 2. I'm going to look for that folder. Where is that folder? L, Lyrics 2 is right there. Hit Enter. And I'm going to now hit Paste, Confirm, and all the files are there. So next time I come over there, if I get out of the disk editor, okay? Now, this is true for all files. So even like your user sounds or user voices and your styles, they all operate as files. That's how you would copy styles from your USB stick to the hard drive. And the reverse is also true, copy from the hard drive to the stick. So now we have that in there. If I go into my hard drive and touch that, Ave Maria, there we go, okay? If I come over here where it displays both of my drives, if I remove the thumb drive, then in a couple of seconds, that drive disappears from the uh, unit as well. And sometimes you might have to, you know, hit refresh so that it can check again to see if there's anything attached to the drive as well. If I go to disk info, this is what gives me the uh, information with regards to whatever disk I selected, be that the thumb drive or in this case, the internal drive. You can see how much I've used up and it gives you data in megabytes as to the size of the drive, the name of the drive, do not format. I've seen some people do that before and cry for help later on. Do not format. But again, this gives you all the information that you need with regards to your internal drive on your unit. So thank you all for watching this. I just figured I would share this uh, video with you to talk about how indeed you can um, be able to uh, better manage your drives. How do you copy information back and forth between the internal drive of the event and the uh, drive of uh, your, sorry, your USB stick. Now that copy procedure is also true for the other Keytron units that have a touch colored screen, including 
the Keytron Lounge as well. So I will see how I can incorporate this video into the lounge video because what I just showed you is the same thing for the lounge and all the entire um, event series, the EVM, Event X, Event 61, Event Chrome, and the King of the Hill itself event. All right. Again, this is AJ at Keytron signing out for today, and I shall see you all in the next video. Take care now.